Hello, hello everyone. My name is Linda Gundo. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Perfection Creations. Linda's Perfection Creations is a event planning and wedding decor company. We cater to small and large events in and around the Philadelphia area. We do full service, partial, one of coronations. We do custom events, destination weddings. We do planning in all states. Uh, we do decor aspect as well. So if you, let's say, if you want to do a bouquet or centerpieces, anything in regards to decor we do, we do one of coronations. We do home staging. So if you have a home and you want to sell it to prospective buyers and you want to see how the space look, uh, if you have office space or something in your home, we do that as well. I am completely, sorry for my voice, I am completely exhausted. I literally just flew in. And it's been a long, long day. I was, it's like vacation was great. I'm glad to be home. Um, this is just a time to relax and enjoy myself. I had an amazing, amazing time on the trip. Um, but as you can see, I am so tired. But I still wanted to take the time to do these videos um, today to continue on the series. So we talk about... Um, made of honor we talk about also the the head table we also talked about the nose when we take we talk about um what else? the letter press um the cake bag the just stay a piece so today we're going to continue and where we left off we're going to talk about your mood board uh, for some of you may be wondering, well, what is a mobile? A mobile is pretty much kind of like your Pinterest board, I would say. A collection of flowers and switches, images that you gather together um, that you want to look. So pretty much you have, for me, most of the time when people come to me up or I'm getting married, the first question I ask is, do you have pictures? So do you have a Pinterest board where all this colors and power that you have together? So you and your planner usually work together with different swatches, inspirations, and everything that you were to design this idea. Um, also your florist. Um, so your mobile help narrow down um, your choices, your visions of what it is that you want your wedding day to look at, the kind of figure, the color palette, and everything that you need. So that's what your mobile does. So when you hear it say, what's your mobile? It's like everything that you want to try to figure the best color that will work together. Um, then we'll talk open bar. Open bar, like for most party, everything you have is um sometimes people pay cash bar and have drinks and so put an open bar is pretty much mean just as this you got wine and liquor and beer and everything from your guests and you can pick the premium style the low grade style you pick what you want to set for your wedding and everything is really free so just as it turns out open bar everything in the bar is open guests can drink for let's say if you get the five hour package the six hour package whatever package you get for your reception um every drinks in there will be free okay and then <sighs> we got the the nosegate okay the nosegate bouquet pretty much um and i talk about when i was talking about flowers it's a smaller bouquet that you can choose um to use um sometimes some brides want something smaller you know for your male foreigner your wedding party to have this smaller bouquet or maybe if you want to do your toss away bouquet or just to decide something smaller then from the bride. So some people opt out to something smaller. So it's just a smaller bouquet. Um, out of town guests. So out of town guests are people who are coming out of town, just as I said, coming out of, um, from different states. You do a hotel block. So you contact your hotels and you put a block that room block so that your guests sometimes they have this kind rate that they give um, to. But what I would recommend that if you are doing a room block for a hotel, make sure that you have the total amount of guests that's coming because what happened is that with a hotel let's say if you put down five room or ten rooms sometimes all depend on the hotel they might tell you that you have to book um upset a percentage of a room if those guests have not booked this room you let's say if you booked reserve maybe nine rooms and not and only eight to five guest book you will have to pay the remaining three um, first day so like for the first day you have to pay it that cost so if you're going to do a those black make sure that those guests are booking those rooms um 
another option if you choose not to do that you can just let, refer guests to hotels in around the area if you don't want to do the the one block where they will be able to book themselves but the difference is that they may not be able to get those discounts from getting those so those are things to consider and also your palette selection the palette pretty much just as i say the colors that are going to go the color that you choose to work with if they're your main colors your focus your natural color your accent the depth the blushes from the pink so different different colors that you choose to work with um to combine to make that skin so you may have the main color but you have accent color on, in the back of it so the palette it just as a sound you have multiple colors that will you know go within the style of your wedding so let's say sometimes people might have i think people miss that sometimes because sometimes people may have red red go a lot of colors in that red family it doesn't necessarily have to be with another red or so you can put a lot of colors in there that kind of goes that will blend in with it that make it stand out but sometimes some people will happen to just drown the colors that they pick and everything is in there and it just look overwhelming just look drowning like it's it's, it's too much so, but when you pick colors that kind of in that same family that go together, it really set the tone of your ceremony space. And then a place cards, as I said, place cards is different from escrow card. Place cards are actually cards that actually sit on the table. So, if you are doing a seating arrangement and you want to get the seat in a specific seat on that table, so you do a place card where when the guests go to that table, they actually cards is everything is placed there. They know exactly where to sit on that table with the name so those are another option that you can do if you want to say well i want this person to sit there i want this person to say there for instance an escrow card they can just go to the table and pick any seat but on a place card you actually sit in this high what each person going to sit and where they're going to sit on that table so that's what a place setting is and then plus one um most people know this already just who you are inviting to the wedding um so brewer thomas if somebody is married they automatically get a plus one if somebody's single they don't normally get a plus one you can choose whether you want them to get a plus one or not if someone has been in a long-term relationship for a while they also recommend as a plus they can get a plus one but it's all you cannot invite a married person um, and let's say if I invite the wife or forget the husband they automatically come together married people always guaranteed a plus one um, but single people, and you can step in somebody who's been in a relationship for a while, you know, if you know their old friend, step in, but somebody who's just dating somebody, or just miss her, they don't necessarily have to be someone, but you decide on how you want to treat the plus one. So pretty much it's the additional person they bring in. So based on your wedding size, your wedding budget, you can determine where, how you want to treat that, but no matter what, married couple or automatically, you know, come unless they tell you anything else. So keep that in mind. So the next thing is the profession, procession, I'm sorry. The wedding perception is doing the park in the wedding where the bridal party will walk down the aisle. Um, so how to enter into um, the ceremony space. Um, how they're gonna see, do you want them to the bride and bridal party to work together? Do you want the men to be standing on altar um, as the women walk to the so do you want the meeting? So pretty much how you want the flow of the music, the order of the service, that's the wedding procession, how you want it to proceed in the wedding. The wedding processional is um, pretty much the same, but it's different. It's just the bride, how the bride is going to enter. Um, and, ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. It's, you know, how they're going to, the songs that's going to be playing, the combination of songs, if you're going to have them do different songs, um, and or you're just going to have to, everybody walk down to the same songs of the wedding, and more of the music style. It's more of like the choice of, the music and how you want things to go and so on and so forth so excuse me from there um where did I stop okay so now we're gonna go to the queen and neckline so you heard about the v-neck the shoulder neck um the queen and line this there's a frame neckline kind of flattering to give your gun this more royal vibe a how it's gonna look the dress skip from the sleeve, the shirt or the back line and everything that comes. So pretty much that's just how your dress gonna flow to get removed from lawyer film. So then we have real wedding. Wondering what you know, a real wedding is pretty much to tell the story of how your beat is gonna go. It's something simple when you tie the knot and you no know, for instance, 
when you're walking down the aisle, you have the photographer make sure the keynote speakers and everything that go. And then you have the recession out. The recession is pretty much the opposite from what it said. Recession is technically the music player, how the couple going to make their grand exit. Like, so how your partner's going to walk down the uh, exit after the ceremony, how you're going to leave, how you're going to work the songs, you're going to jump over a broom. So those are the things. So pretty much how the procession is how the recession is how they're going to exit um, in the world in space. Rehearsal dinner. Rehearsal dinner is usually, and I see most people kind of scared off of that a little bit, some people. Rehearsal dinner is like after the rehearsal. So the day of before the wedding, after you do your rehearsal, most of the time you might have the wedding parties, the family, immediate family members go out to dinner where you treat them with something nice and you go there and just treat how to tell them thank you in regards to the dinner and how everything going to go and tell them thank you for being there for you. Just a little dinner before the wedding to just relax, get your feet down, something informal and just enjoy your day. But that is all for today. Once again, thank you for watching. My name is Linda Gunnell. I am the CEO and founder of Linda's Professional Creations. Thank you and have an amazing day.